Hello there. We're going to see how the 74LS93 counter works. Quite simple inside. It's just got four toggle flip-flops. Toggle because the J and K inputs of each flip-flop is at logic 1. And it's just got a NAND gate in here for resetting later. Let's see it working. Here it is. It's all wired up. First thing to notice, by the way, is that the plus is going to pin 5 and the 0 is going to pin 10, not like the other 74 series ICs. Hmm, just get that right, okay? And I've color coded the other wires, so it should be fairly easy to see what's happening. Let's see what it's doing. I've got a clock pulse coming in here, quite fast, ding, 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 and it's going into the IC at pin 14. There you are. The clock pulse is going into the top here. And it's going to get divided by 2 by the top counter here. So what we have is, goes in here, and sure enough, on the other side, this is flashing once for every two flashes coming in here. And what's happening with the other ones? Well, what's happening is that I have linked the output of the first stage to be the clock for the next stage. Now, the next stage has got all three flip-flops together in a chain. It's all linked up inside. We don't have to do it ourselves. So what's happening then? It's counting away. Notice that the first light is flashing at half the clock pulse rate. Then this next one is flashing half the speed again. And the next one flashing half the speed again. And eventually this last one is 16 times slower than this one. 16 flashes here there's going to be one flash over here. Now, it takes a while to see this, but hey, let's use sound. This is quite fun. Now, we're just going to use a little transistor here to help us because I want to drive a loudspeaker, and you can't drive loudspeakers straight from these ICs. So here we go. Let the transistor do the heavy work. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this go really much, much faster. Ding, 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 ding. There's no way you can see that. Now, let's see if I've done it too high. That's the input sound coming in. Wow, it's so high, you can't even hear it. Let's go back down a bit one more. Here we go. Try here. That's pretty high sound. Now, let's listen to the sound coming from here. That's one octave lower. It's half the frequency. Next one. And finally. There you are. So this is eight octaves lower than the input frequency here. Can you sing that high? <laughs> so there you are. So this is actually one big use of a counter. It's used as a frequency divider. You can divide by two, by four, by eight, by 16. There you go. Now, how does it work? All right, let's go and slow things down again. So we can see what's happening. Now at the moment, it's counting up to nine, then it goes blank. I've got this display here to show what the meaning is of these logic outputs here. It's a BCD display, binary code decimal. But it goes blank after nine. Why? Because this cannot show anything when it's trying to show A, B, C, D, E, or F. So, we want to try and get it to just count up to nine and then reset when it's trying to count ten. How do we do that? Well, there's a clue down here. Down here, these two purple wires, they're going to the NAND gate inside the IC. Here we go, there's the NAND gate. And if you have a 1 and a 1 on the NAND gate, this will reset. So at the moment, I've got 0 and 0. Now, check out what happens when I press up and up. Both switches now are high. Even though the clock's going ding, 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 ding really fast, Nothing happening here. It's set to zero. So the meaning is zero. Mm. Just one switch goes low. Boom. It counts. One switch high, or both switches high, it stops. There's a clue. Now, what's special about the number A, or 10, which is going to come out of the counter when it's normally counting? Well, its binary pattern is one on the eight, one on the two, zero on the other two. So there's two ones. What do we need to reset? Two ones. 
So how about we take it from there? So we just take out the wire, take out the other wire, that's it. That's it without destroying the box. And then notice now it's still stuck because even when you don't connect something to TTL, it looks like a logic one, logic one. Now, let's go to the D's line. That's the eights line. And then let's go to the twos line, which means now every time we have eight and two together, it's going to reset. Hey, look at this. Goes to nine, straight back to zero. So we have now made a mod 10 counter. Easy as that. Hopefully now you can understand how the whole thing works. Good luck in your lab tests.